First of all, burritos aren't really Mexican. Mexican food has become an American staple, but are we doing it all wrong? I'm having Mexican food in the US and in Mexico to compare the difference. So the menu has all of this. Just asked for enchiladas. And he said, yeah, no, we don't have that. But I'm shocked to see that things have gotten really, really lost in translation. I asked for tacos and he said, yeah, no, we don't have that. But they have all of this. So what exactly is truly Mexican food and how did America manage to mess it up? Where are we right now? So we are in Taco Bell and we're gonna try some Mexican food. American innovation meets Mexican style. So it's interesting to see the menu in comparison to an authentic, authentic Mexican place. Like you'll never see these combinations of the tortilla and then cheddar cheese and then this hard shell. No, like no, 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 kind of, no, 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 definitely not. Kind of, but not really. No, no. Is it disappointing? It is, because this is not real Mexican food. All right, so I got a couple different things. Let's start with this. And taco is Mexican. This is, is it? nothing like a taco that you would actually find in a real Mexican restaurant. First of all, the cheddar cheese, the tortilla. Wait, cheddar cheese is not Mexican? No, not at all. You'll never, ever, 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 ever see cheddar cheese in Mexico. What about cheese that's this color that's called Mexican nope. blend at the grocery nope. store? Fake, really? fake cheese. <laughs> Another part is that it has the, you know, thick uh, flour tortilla. That's not traditionally Mexican. And of course, this is an aberration to Mexican cuisine. Gra yeah. Ground beef, you'll never see ground beef in an actual Mexican taco. Really? So even something as simple as a taco is so not actually not Mexican? All. Yes. Next thing, which is um, a... Uh... First of all, I don't even know what this is called. <laughs> all right, so how, about, how did they do on their burrito? Well, first of all, burritos aren't really Mexican. It's more of a Mexican-American Tex-Mex thing. You know, the, the flour tortilla is not really all the stuff going in here is not Cheddar something like the ground beef. Um, usually a burrito a with yeah, so that's your burrito. It's like kind of like your where it came from. not something that we use in authentic Mexican cuisine. Okay, nachos. I mean nachos. How how can they mess up nachos? <laughs> well, nachos are not really a thing in Mexico. Nachos, no, even nachos. They're not really a. Th I want you to try this. The Diablo sauce. not that spicy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and that's supposed to be the, hot, the hottest yeah. one, right? Well, this completely blew my mind, especially when you said burritos aren't Mexican, but let's go to Mexico and actually see what the food is like there and how it differs. Let's go. Yeah, I think we could order. Ready? So now we've come to Mexico City and we're at a pretty popular chain mm -hmm. restaurant here in Mexico. This actually this restaurant actually started as one of those like street stands. It got so popular that they began to open uh, restaurants. You will find all the typical Mexican foods here, tacos, pozole, enchiladas. It looks like these are some of their staple dishes and even though I thought I knew Mexican food, I don't even think I could tell you what these are called. So this is the chicken taco. Where this is, is... The chicken tostada. Oh, oh yeah, of course. I'm used to like this coming with like a big portion of rice, beans, sour cream. Here in Mexico, in most restaurants, if you just order one thing, that's all you get. There's no side dishes or whatever. The U.S. we're so used to like big portions of those side portions of like huge, you know, rice pile, and then your beans and cheddar cheese, which is kind of like gross actually. <laughs> so here it's just you order one piece, and that's that's what you get. Awesome. Uh, they have, they bring these salsas out for you to have with the uh, tostadas or with, you know, whatever dish you order. These are made here at this place, so it's more, they're more fresh. Wow, they're and, actually made in this same restaurant. Yes, yes. And it's a chain restaurant. It's a chain that's, restaurant. That's crazy. Yes. What exactly would this be? So, it's kind of the same thing, it's just a different presentation, because these are actual tostadas, and these tostadas, you can use them uh, with the salsas, you can put a little bit on top of it. So basically, you just take a piece off, have it with some salsa. Yeah, so you can put a little bit of salsa like this. Mm. Oh, wow. Wait, this is quesadilla? Quesadilla. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
it's so different than what I'm used to. Gracias. <laughs> so this is what an enchilada is actually supposed to look like, and this is what? En frijolada. En so, frijolada, which is like an enchilada, but with, with beans. beans as the base instead of a sauce. Okay, so let's review what we've learned. Burritos, fajitas, and cheddar cheese are not even Mexican. In general, Mexican food in America has way more cheese on it. Mexican food is actually much healthier than America's version of it. It's sometimes called Tex-Mex, which is the version of food invented by Texans who took Mexican food and made it their own. And this is where the burrito came from and fajitas too. Meat like beef is actually rarely used in Mexican meals. The main ingredients are really beans, corn, and rice. But you can actually thank Texans for the influence of beef in Mexican food. Thank you, mama. Go to a Mexican restaurant in the US, order tacos, and you'll get a full platter, served with a large quantity of rice, beans, sour cream, and of course, chips and salsa. But I can honestly say not a single restaurant in Mexico actually offered that. So now that we know what Mexican food is not, let me ask this, what is it? Well, the first thing to learn about true, real, authentic Mexican food is that everything comes down to the corn. So I'm walking through Mexico City and I just stumbled across this little place that makes fresh corn tortillas and it was so cool to see how it's done. And basically what they do is the corn is made into this base, the base is then converted into this machine which puts them into round circles and then they are baked and then converted into tortillas. So even if a restaurant isn't making its own corn tortilla, they're probably at least getting them fresh made that day. Corn is iconic here. I literally see paintings and murals with corn all over Mexico. It's alive with history and meaning and here Mexicans believe that corn is the food with which the gods chose to feed mankind. In fact, today it's believed to be Mexico's most important agricultural commodity. See, tortillas in Mexico are almost always corn-based. Corn tortillas with bean paste have been common for ages here. Tortillas are common in the diet of Mexican families who eat them often with chicken and beef. In America, we mostly have flour tortillas, whereas in Mexico, it's all about corn tortillas. See, Mexico takes corn so seriously, there even is considered to be a god of corn here. And these are corn-based? These would be corn based. Oh, okay. and that, that's the corn right there, too. Ah. So here you can see corn, uh, which is a staple of Mexican cuisine. In fact, they call us the children of corn. Fast forward to today, it's causing huge controversy. See, more than 90% of the corn grown in the US is genetically modified. Farmers change these crops' DNA to avoid insects and viruses. But Mexico hates genetically modified corn. For one, they can increase the chance of humans developing allergies, and there are studies about toxins going into our organs. Which is why Mexico is now saying that by 2024, no farmers in Mexico can actually grow genetically modified corn anymore. Mexicans actually rely on on American farmers for much of their corn. But if you ask many people in Mexico, they will say that not only should GMO corn be banned, but they could even take offense to the fact that it is being modified. Remember, corn is an iconic part of its cuisine and culture here. And corn is just the base of what I find to be so many dishes here in Mexico. So this is called a mercado. It's kind of like a bazaar. You've got food, you've got toys, you got everything one would need here under this roof. And it's really cool, it reminds me totally of a bazaar, and it pretty much is, but it's called a mercado. So this is quite interesting, this is quite unique. Is this something you would see in the US? You find it, but it's bottled, so it's not as authentic and as tasty and as fresh as it is here. Oranges, in the US, we're so used to uniform, uh, same color, same shape, but here you can see the different shades um, and sizes. It's not as aesthetically pleasing as they are in the US, but they're definitely fresher and more organic. So in Mexican cuisine, we have a variety of foods and fresh ingredients. So we can see some of them here. These are the, the tomatoes, of course, avocados, um, cactus. It's also something very important in the diet and even reflected in the, in the flag as a national symbol. Then we have the tomatillos, which are these green type of tomatoes, but we use them a lot for sauces. So these are empanadas, and they're almost like a pastry, but they are stuffed, and you can choose whatever toppings you want. So for example, I'm having a mushroom with avocado, and then it comes with the crema and the cheese, and you can add the salsa to your liking, and they're really yummy. 
Well, America is the land of mass production. Produce more, make it last longer at all costs, and sell more. Which brings us to the final part of how America ruined Mexican food. So whether that's inventing entirely new concepts like Chipotle, or adding excessive cheddar cheese to a plate to make it tastier and pricier, rest assured, America will do it. Now, don't get me wrong, of course, for many Mexicans, translating their recipes into restaurants and supermarket products has been a source of pride and economic success too. But I've always loved Mexican food. But now I realize that I've actually loved American Mexican food. And now that I know what food is actually like in Mexico, personally, I have a much greater appreciation for the authenticity and story of the food that is truly, authentically, and uniquely Mexican.